In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi-cursor feature in VS Code to edit multiple lines at the same time using Windows or Linux. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. In this example over here, I have a list of books, and each book has a title and a name. Let's say that I want to change the name to author. Well, I can highlight the name and then hit Control D on the keyboard, and you'll see that it finds the next match and adds a cursor. I continue hitting Control D over and over. It's going to add more and more cursors. Then we'll use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move all the cursors together. I can highlight the name and then type author. And then by hitting Escape on the keyboard, I can remove all the cursors, and now we have a single cursor. A faster way we can add a cursor for each match is by highlighting author and then hitting Control shift l and as you can see we have a cursor for each match of author and then we can go ahead and change that back to name another fun way that we can add multiple cursors is if we put our cursor in the middle over here and i hold Control alt and i hit it down on the keyboard you're going to see it's adding a cursor below and then i continue hitting down now if i hit up it's going to put a cursor over here and we can continue hitting up until we get to the top of the list and then once again we can go ahead and just update that value, hit escape, and we're back to one cursor. Another way that we can add cursors is by using our mouse. We can hold the alt key on the keyboard and then everywhere we click we'll be adding our cursor. We can add them everywhere that we like which can cause a little bit of chaos if you start to type. As you'll see we'll get letters everywhere. We can hit escape to remove those. With our mouse over here we can also select a multiple line. So when we're holding alt over here we can hold shift and then click at the very bottom over here and it's going to add a column of cursors and then once again we can move those cursors around and change our value from author to name and of course you can go ahead and do that in the opposite direction so hold alt and shift and then click at the top over here and you get the same set of cursors we had before and we'll change it back to author a fantastic real world example over here is in html when we want to quickly change some class names so let's say that over here we have this box over here we want to change box quickly to card well i can highlight it hit Control shift l to add multiple cursors then start typing card and we've updated all of our classes over here in html very quickly another great real world example is that someone sent us this list of colors and we need to put it into an array so the first thing we're going to do is put quotes around every single color over here so we're going to put our cursor at the top then we're going to hold alt shift click on the last line to add multiple cursors we're going to add our quote over here now we're going to press the end key so we can jump to the end of the line we'll put another quote we'll put a comma at the very end over here we'll then press the home key to go to to the beginning of the line. We'll hit backspace to put everything on one line. Gape to go back to one cursor. We'll type const colors over here and then make it equal to the opening bracket for an array and then close the bracket over here. Put a semicolon and we've created an array using the multi cursor feature. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.